here's the simple motor we looked at previously. So I have a battery here and a, a stack of magnets. And I have these two paper clips that are making contact to the two sides of the battery and will be the support for the motor winding shaft. And here's the motor winding. And again, I've only removed the insulation on half of one side here so that I could effectively keep rotation going. Okay, so now what I'm going to demonstrate is I'm going to build another simple motor where I'm going to replace the permanent magnet with an electromagnet. Okay, this is what I'm going to use to generate the magnetic field. So this is one piece of wire that I've coiled 50 times. I've cleaned the insulation off this end and this end here. And so the motor shaft, this will be one of the ends where the motor shaft is going to rest. So the current will flow around this coil and up here and generate the, the magnetic field. Okay, now I've taken a second piece of wire here, and this is where the other end of the motor shaft will rest. So I've cleaned the insulation off here and at this end. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to wind it around the second coil to support it like this. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so here's our field generating coil and our connections to our motor shaft. And so now I've taken and formed this coil and again cleaned off the insulation on the two sides and I've only cleaned the insulation off again on, on, on half of the uh, connector here. So this is going to rest in here. Okay, and it's free to rotate. Okay, so now what's going to happen is the current will flow in here, go around the coil to generate our magnetic field, come up here and through this connection flow around the uh, motor coil here where it connects here and flows out the wire here. So the battery is going to be connected across these two terminals here. I have connected a 9 volt battery across the terminals of our simple motor and so now I'm going to put the motor winding in.